I spoke to you about the Russia-Ukraine war, given your parents' background. And if it's OK, I'd like to ask you, as, as someone who is proudly Jewish, your parents fled Russia in the early 1900s to escape anti-Semitism, what it's been like for you over the past couple of months, watching what's happening in the world unfold, watching October 7, how it's made you feel? It's a very unfortunate thing. <laughs> you see, the people in Israel are very, very clever. But sometimes they have to forget that they are so clever and just see what the others are doing. Mm -hmm. They couldn't believe that they would attack. And so that's very unfortunate because the people in Gaza, they don't value human life. So if, you, if they lose people, well, tough luck, they don't care. Very difficult to find someone who doesn't care enough about his own people. And that's why the, the war is all the time going on and on. If it was a normal fight where they valued them, then it would have been over a long time ago. Did you think that as a Jew that you would have to go through something like this again, that, that your people would have to go through something like this again? Well, we have to keep doing what we do until it stops. Now, of course, all the money comes from Iran. Now, thank God Iran itself is scared to fight. But on the other hand, as long as the oil prices are so high, they have a lot of money. Now, the oil prices have started to go down quite rapidly. And I'm hoping that as they go down, Iran stops supplying money. What would you say to the Jewish people of Australia? To stay strong? The Jewish people of Australia have to be strong. We have to believe in Israel. We've lasted thousands of years. Mm. And uh, if, you, if you saw what we did in Israel, you would never believe it. Originally, the land was bought from Turks. And you saw how desolate Gaza is. And this land that the Turks sold us was even worse. And if you see that land today, you couldn't believe that it's the same land. So there are many incredible things that we did there. And if we can do that, then I think we can do anything. But I hope that we will learn to live with each other without fighting. We need them as much as they need us. And I'm very proud of how the living standards of our neighbors have improved so much where we were in control. Beautifully said, Harry. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Really, really appreciate you coming on my show. Thank you very much. Nice to Th hear from you.